Hi, Dr. Janbi. It's a pleasure to have you here uh, in this platform, especially when you're at a pinnacle of success after all these months of hard work. So it's really uh, an overwhelming moment for all of us here. So this is Dr. Janbi, who has secured All India Rank 2 in the NEET SS exams. So how are you feeling, Dr. Janbi? Oh, um, uh, thank you so much, ma'am. I'm feeling really nice. Like, uh, I, didn't, I didn't know that I'll be able to do this. So, yeah, I'm feeling very happy. So, it's, it's a pleasure to have you here. So, um, and why are we talking to you now is to one, uh, celebrate your success. And two, uh, for you to help and guide other people like you who would like to emulate what you did this this time. So tell us something about yourself first, Janvi. Uh, Ma'am, I'm Dr. Janvi Sirwani. I have done my MBBS from Gandhi Medical College, Bhopal. After that, uh, I joined uh, MD Pediatrics in All India Institute of Medical Sciences, Bhubaneswar. Okay. And during residency, I developed interest in gastro. So like, I attempted the subject. Okay, so what uh, what uh, helped you, uh, you know, to gain interest in gastroenterology? Because there are so many other uh, subspecialties that you'll be exposed to during your MD training. Uh, Ma'am, we were exposed to uh, like every subspecialty like neonatology, pulmonology, critical care, gastroenterology and hepatology and rheumatology also like a broad exposure was there and uh, more or less, like we were exposed to every specialty, but I developed interest in gastroenterology and hepatology. Okay, and why did you take pediatrics in the first place? Uh, I was into medical uh, specialty, so there were only two options, medicine and pediatrics. And I am fond of children, there is satisfaction as well. So because of the satisfaction, the love of helping those little ones, those innocent kids, like made me chose pediatrics. Okay. And after uh, a very wide exposure to all the subspecialties of pediatrics, um, do you, what led you to uh, decide that, yes, I need to specialize and, you know, do a DM in a particular subject? Like, why did you choose to do a DM, first of all, whichever subject it is? Uh, Ma'am, I felt that like even after the exposure in every branch, I wanted to be in best in one particular field. So, uh, like, so I like chose to like select gastroenterology as a branch. Uh, first of all, uh, like my thesis was in gastroenterology. I have attended multiple conferences in gastroenterology, especially Esfagen, which was held in Finland last year. So, like, I have more exposure of gastroenterology specifically because of my field of study. And like we in Ames Bhubaneswar had uh, like a broad exposure of cases in gastro. So I like I have studied more of gastroenterology. So like I got interested in this field. Okay. So uh, did you start using this marrow platform from the beginning or you started, uh, you know, by the fag end of your pediatrics to prepare for the exams? Uh, no, ma'am. Actually, uh, for NEET PG, I have been using, like, in NEET UG also, I was using a uh, marrow uh, platform okay. for preparing in second year of UG. So, like, in second year, I came to know that marrow has announced a SS all, as well. So, like, because I was fond of marrow during UG as well, it helped me prepare for my PG exams. So, like, I, uh, like, uh, like took subscription for marrow in second year and i was not very consistent with marrow i saw gastroenterology videos mostly in this last month only okay so what did you what is your opinion about the gastroenterology videos did it help you prepare for your exam uh yes ma'am definitely like uh, the videos are very structured and like it, it covers most of the information which is required for uh like which is required for clearing the exam and it gives confidence as well that uh, like the uh, MCQ sessions and MCQ discussions, case based discussions and the like type of discussion which is there in Maro platform for gastro is like very helpful. It helped me in both like stage one as well as stage two. 
Okay. And uh, how was your experience in writing the exam? Was it tough or was it what you were expecting? Uh, Ma'am, this, this was my first attempt. So, like, I completed my residency in, uh, like, September starting. So, after that, I took a break because I did not take any break post-internship. So, like, for one month, I had a break. After that, like, when I went to Europe, uh, I uh, realized that uh, NEET SS has been announced, uh, INISS has been announced. So, like, because I had an interest in gastroenterology, I thought I, maybe this time I'll give a trial. So, like, uh, for trial purpose only, initially, I, like, started watching Marrow videos. After that, I read Nelson. So, but meanwhile, during a course, I, I don't know when I became serious for gastroenterology. Like, this trial attempt turned into a serious attempt. So, yes. It helped me a lot. Like it helped me clear uh, most of the questions. Okay. How did you uh, prepare? You prepared only from Nelson, or you prepared from other sources as well? Uh, no, ma'am. Like uh, because I had only one month in hand, I just wanted to make sure that I cover every topic. Like uh, because for my next attempt, I know from where, which topic the questions are coming and in what way questions are coming. So I just wanted to be familiarized with the pattern of the exam. That is why I gave this exam. But uh, like this time, I, first of all, I started with Marrow videos. I watched all the videos once. Uh, my like target was that I want I wanted to cover entire material once. So, because I had only one month, so I covered Maro videos once. After that, I started with Nelson. I read Nelson uh, once and I started doing MCQs in pediatric gastroenterology side by side. After that, I used to discuss uh, like guidelines, SPEGIN and SPEGIN guidelines with my junior alongside. So, discussion sessions helped me build, build the concepts. And alongside, like, if I was getting any MCQ wrong, then I'll go back to the topic, brush up the topic, I'll revise. I'll, after that, I, when I became serious, I thought that maybe I should give this as, as a serious attempt. And I reread Nelson only. Like, I was reading, uh, like, I was watching Marrow, Marrow Notes. And after that, I was just uh, going through Nelson for topics which I was getting wrong in my, like, MCQ sessions. Okay. So, how was the stage two of the exam? Uh, Ma'am, it was uh, like mostly case-based scenarios were asked. So like uh, uh, they, they'll give a case based on history, examinations, after that investigation, uh, like we have to say the diagnosis, after that investigations, differential diagnosis, and some of the Im imaging were also there. Like the best thing about Marrow is that images are there and case-based discussions are there. So it helped me a lot in like uh, stage two as well. Okay. So uh, you will recommend your juniors to keep Nelson as the base and then uh, study Nelson thoroughly. And then as a, uh, as a, as a source of everything in a nutshell, you can maybe watch the videos and then go back, back and forth between the videos and the textbook. Is that the way you will recommend to be done? Uh, oh. Opposite, ma'am. Like I'll, I'll uh, tell them to like start with Maro videos. Make your base okay. first because you have done three years of residency. So most of the cases we have already seen in the residency, common cases mm -hmm. like autoimmunitis, neonatal cholestasis, upper GI bleed, acute liver failure. All of that we have seen in the residency, and some things we have already studied. But uh, like Maro helped. Uh, in my case, Maro helped me fill the gaps which were there, uh, like the knowledge which I lacked, and like it helped me strengthen the knowledge. After that, when I went back to Nelson, I was able to grasp the concepts more effectively. I was able to memorize the things. Uh, in my case, I had uh, less time, so I was not able to make notes, but like question based learning was mostly there, like concept based learning was there. And discussing with juniors helped me a lot, literally helped me. Okay. A lot. okay, okay, so that's interesting. So, when are you going to join on Jan 1st? Uh, Jan, like they have announced the schedule for uh, counseling, like mostly Jan and by Jan end it should start. By Jan end, okay, okay, okay. So what do you intend to do after doing gastroenterology? 
uh ma'am actually during residency i was exposed to a diverse variety of uh, like cases of liver diseases especially metabolic liver diseases and cholestasis and like when i saw that in india like uh, like the uh, liver transplantations are developed but not that developed so like i want to be like i i am more interested into hepatology part of gastroenterology and want to learn more about transplantation like medicine so okay okay yeah. good 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 that's nice so after you finish your general gastroenterology and you can you know um, channelize yourself into hepatology and you know going to only transplant hepatology so this is just the beginning of your journey so it's not the end so you have a lot more to see and experience read do and a lot, a lot more research research areas are there so yeah it's uh, it's a good step for a bigger world to enter into a bigger world of gastroenterology so what are your hobbies dr janvi uh my the only hobby i have is traveling i love to explore the world i love traveling and like enjoying time with myself exploring things exploring places getting to know people getting to know different cultures so i travel during my free time that's nice so little time but yeah traveling yeah that's what that was my next question how much time do you get to travel <laughs> uh not much but like after residency that is why i specifically took a break to like because i wanted to explore more places and like learn about things okay that's nice so if not gastroenterology what would you have chosen mm, i am not uh, like if not gastroenterology then probably i would have chosen like uh, rheumatology and immunology but uh, no i'll go with gastro only that is like <laughs> okay so that nowadays all, more, many of these students who are doing pediatrics are all preparing for their super specialty so what do you think about it do we need super specialists or do we need general pediatricians uh these days we need more general pediatricians i feel but uh, like being best in something uh, side by side you can practice general peds as well you can see cases of general peds as well but like i i was interested in gastroenterology because i wanted uh, to like learn more uh, in that it, like it is it is intellectually stimulating brand that is why i wanted to like enter into this field but yes general pediatrics is also a very good branch like i love like seeing like these things growth development immunization must to know yeah so it's always it's always a delicate balance and mix of everything so it should be like a pyramid like we need a lot of good general pediatricians and then who can pick up these cases like if somebody is seeing a 100 children and that general pediatrician is probably more talented than all of us because we are seeing only our specialty so it's important to be exposed to all the sub specialties while you are doing your general peds residency so that you identify at least you identify the red flags and identify the disorders and you can start the treatment or refer to a specialist as and when required so it should be like a pyramid scheme you know like the general pediatricians at the bottom and then several specialists at several levels so transplant hepatologists will be somewhere on the top because we people will have to keep referring and then you will be you'll be seeing that small cohort that we have so expertise has its own value but at the same time a good general pediatrician is also needed so while i congratulate you uh, very much for what you have achieved and it's also important to let the other people know that it's also important to be a very good general pediatrician so even if somebody doesn't crack the neat ss and doesn't get a specialty seat of their choice it's it's okay so what is important is to uh, understand every specialty very well so uh, for that i feel the maro videos have all the specialties uh, you know nicely divided and the experts speaking on it so to be frank i am seeing only gastroenterology i don't see anything else so i don't i don't go into immunization i don't see general pediatrics but if there is an issue with a general peds case it's always nice to see a video of a colleague so it's it it helps even super specialists so that way yeah these videos have been helpful even to you know consultants like us so uh, that's the attempt that we have like to 
to show you the nutshell within the shortest period of time so that your time is utilized in the right way so instead of learning from a vast area which is really good but then when as you said when the time is limited you need to channelize your energies into learning from the best source so that was a good uh, idea that you've given everybody else so i wish you all the very best dr janvi so i i i hope we meet soon because we'll be in the same branch and uh, uh, it's really nice talking to you all the very best and do your best give your best into gastroenterology and let's see you sometime thank you so much ma'am